In SL417, SL447, the main skill that you will be required to develop is the ability to measure oxygen uptake and carbon dioxide production during cycle ergometry. In order to acquire this skill, you will need to develop expertise in the use of the Monarch cycle ergometer, the, uh, the Douglas bags, the gas analyzer interfaced with the power lamp, and the dry gas meter. This se short series of videos will teach you how to use these pieces of equipment. The first thing you'll need to do when you enter the lab is ensure that your station is set up properly, ready for you to start testing. So at your station, there should be a PowerLab 26T uh, console, an AD Instruments gas analyzer, and these should be interfaced with a Lenovo ThinkPad laptop. In addition, you should find a dry gas meter and a vacuum pump which will be connected to each other via this plastic tubing. At the back of the power lab, you will see an I2C bus output and at the back of the gas analyzer, you will see an I2C bus input. You should use the I2C bus cable to attach the gas analyzer to the power lab. Next, you will see a USB output at the back of the power lab. This cable should be attached to that. And the other end of that cable will be attached to the laptop. At the back of the gas analyzer, you will see an oxygen output and a carbon dioxide output. The BNC cables, which are attached to input one and two at the front of the power lab, should be attached to these. Finally, both the power lab and the gas analyzer have a power input socket and an on off switch. Make sure that both are plugged in. Both are turned on and you should be ready now to begin testing. At the front of the power lab, the BNC cables that we attached to the oxygen output and carbon dioxide output should be connected to input one and two. In addition, the desiccant cartridge here should be attached to the sample in connection on the gas analyzer. Finally, the flow control should be turned all the way to the right. At the front of the power lab, the power light should be blue and the status light should be green. On the gas analyzer, the power should be blue and the status should be green. At the moment, you'll notice that the status light is not switched on. This means that the gas analyzer is not yet ready to begin sampling data. The reason for this is that it requires 30 minutes to warm up. However, this doesn't mean that you can't start collecting data. It only means that you can't yet begin sampling data. Hopefully, when you've finished your data collection, the light will have turned green. The 
dry gas meter should be plugged in with the three and a half millimeter jack and should be switched on. It should be connected to the vacuum pump using this plastic tubing. You can test that your dry gas meter is working if you press reset, switch the vacuum pump on using the on off switch at the top and then stop. You should see that a number of litres have been counted on the display. That's the amount of air that's passed through while it's been turned on. Don't forget to press reset. Finally, you're ready to log in and you should do so using your student ID and password. Once you've logged in, you will see an icon at the top of the screen called Lab Chart 8. Double click on that icon, and when you do so, the Lab Chart Welcome Center should open. Select a new file at the top left hand corner of the screen and you're ready to start sampling your data.